Uh, my name is Matthew Pickwick from Matt's Movie Reviews and this is my review of Anonymous. 10,000 cells all listening to the writings of one man, the ideas of one man. That's power, Robert. Since when did words ever win a kingdom, Edward? Leave that to me. My God. The Earl of Oxford does not write plays. If this is to be done, it must be done carefully, skillfully. In my world, one does not write plays. People like you do. Will Shakespeare. Congratulations. You've had an epic poem published today. Oh, uh, what? Do you mean like in a, in a book? As Oliver Stone's 1991 masterwork JFK proved, a will make conspiracy thriller can lay the seeds of doubt in many a mind in spite of the circumstantial evidence presented. Anonymous does the opposite. It takes a popular theory that William Shakespeare was not the man who wrote classic plays such as Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet, but rather it was the Earl of Oxford who wrote those classic plays. Yet if Oxfordians were hoping that Anonymous would be the right kind of propaganda needed to sway the uninitiated, perhaps they should have hoped for someone other than 10,000 BC director Roland Emmerich to bring this theory to the cinematic masses. Now, Anonymous is set during Elizabethan era England and it stars Rice Ithens as Oxford. He's a brooding patron of the arts who finds refuge in his writings, but he can't publish them due to A, the political nature of the content, and B, the fact that he's the son-in-law of, of the Queen's chief advisor, Sir William Cecil, played here very well by David Euless. Now that's when William Shakespeare comes on the scene. Here he is portrayed as an egotistical and illiterate actor who is used by Oxford as a front to present his plays. And Shakespeare is played rather well by Rafe Spall. However, it can't take away from the fact that Anonymous is just simply a messy um, melodrama, with Emmerich unable to create a clear picture to these costume proceedings, with earls, lords, not so Virginia queens, illegitimate heirs to the throne, jealous playwrights and poor story structure creating, a film which is as scandalous as it is um, confusingly absurd. Now, subtlety has never been a strength of Emmerich's, and with his first foray into dramatic territory, it is an element that's sorely needed. As a result, Anonymous comes across as a shock and awe attempt at historical revision, where manipulation via eye candy is key to selling its logical position. However, Anonymous does look bloody great while doing so, with cinematography, production design, and costume design creating a visually lush world worthy of awards consideration for those fields. However, that's as far as I can go in recommending uh, Anonymous. As conspiracy theories go, the whole Oxford and Sh Shakespeare yarn is quite an entertaining one, but in this movie, it comes up as confusing and also quite stupefying. My name is Matthew Pekovic from Matt's Movie Reviews. If you want to check out more reviews, interviews in my top 10, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.